So, hi guys, Tim here. Going to do a um, another military history video for you today, <coughs> and that one will be on the brief, a brief military history of the medal, the British Army Medal. And now, when people think of medals, they think of essentially what's on the front of that medal yearbook, which is a round medallion with a ribbon stuck to the top of it, which is true. Yes, in in you know in the last. 150 odd years but it really well 200 years but it um it wasn't that from the start um so yeah so um i'll get started so um battle uh sorry in back back in sorry the 1640s you well 1642 to be more precise you get the battle of edge hill um and so the british um, at that point, wanted to start issuing, well, they started issuing back in the 1600s, but 1640, 40s essentially was the, is most, um, most talked about when it's talked about this, when you talk about this topic. Um, in the 1640s, the British Army wanted to hand out some sort of medallion to show that, um, you know, you've joined up. So you would literally you join up as a you know, other ranks regular soldier, and you would get this little little uh, little coin shaped medallion, um, which basically you know has your name on it, your your rank, and that's really it. And then you put it in your pocket, and that was the very start of the medal or the medallion, the medal really. Um, <coughs> pardon me, had no ribbon. And nothing literally was size size of a, a coin, a thick coin, and that was it. Um, now, back then, depending on if you were an officer uh, or other ranks, you would get it in. Well, if you were other ranks, you'd get it in kind of a a pewter metal, or if you were an officer, you'd get it in kind of struck in gold. This medallion, um, and then. In 1642, after the Battle of Edge Hill, uh, they also got another um, small meda small medal coin thing, which they could easily just stick in their pocket and forget about, which was a, essentially, thanks for serving at the battle, well done, you won, type of thing, uh, which was a British, British victory. Um, and then, so generally, medals just started out as if you if you forget the top half there, just just started out as that as the medal itself, essentially with no ribbon. And um, then if you skip say if you skip to uh, the Battle of the Nile, um, uh, May seventeen ninety nine. Uh, just a kind of quick backstory is, um, uh, what was it uh, Sulu Tipu, who was the uh, Egyptian kind of king at the time hated Britain, British rule, so he he asked Napoleon um, Bonaparte to send troops over um, to basically race the British, who were then on their end racing to Egypt to kill or capture or kill. Which in the end it was kill. It was he he um, Sui um, uh, Salu Tipu was killed by a member of the 12th Regiment of Foot, so Suffolk Regiment, later on. Um, they were, The British were racing, so essentially it was a big um, race to the finish, essentially, and that's where you, that's, and in, in, and in the middle of that race, the British and the French met up at the Battle of the Nile, at, uh, sorry, at the Nile, and that's where you get the Battle of the Nile comes from, is that kind of that meet-up in between the race. And after the battle, um, the British are, again, given a medal, coin-shaped medal which you can make a stick in their pocket and forget about um which has you know may 1799 battle of the nile essentially and that's it and those medals are actually very very rare because you know they weren't made to last really uh, a lot longer than usual <coughs> pardon me and they weren't really treasured you know they were literally just coins loose change in your pocket essentially that's what they're thinking of. Um, then, of course, we get the the onset of the Napoleonic Wars, which were going along as the, as the Nile was going on. Um, and then it's um, it's not until the Peninsula War, 
um, in around about 1812, uh, 1811, 1812, when um, a bright spark um, actually fits a ribbon to the circular thick coins. Um, and that is when the medal first comes up, and that's what's called the Army Gold Medal. Which in today's money is about £40,000, which is uh, a lot. And I wish I had one, but I don't. Um, so yeah, Army Army Gold Medal, literally gold. And they were only for officers of the British Army. Only people who could actually, you know, who actually had high status in the Army. Um, that was the Army Gold Medal um, for the Peninsula War. Um, and that's it. The other ranks, you know, privates... Other ranks essentially were, you know, were just people who, you know, fire weapons and win battles. They weren't really considered at this time to get a proper medal with a, a ribbon, which is now attached. Um, but Sunday, 18th of June, 1815, glorious victory at the Battle of Waterloo. Um, we then start issuing our troops the very first... Uh, British Infantryman's Medal, which is called the Waterloo Medal, and that was, and that is the kind of the start of how people recognise modern British medals are, you know, the medal and the ribbon, essentially. Pardon me. Ah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so that's um, that. But if you remember, we don't actually have a proper medal, you know, prior. Yeah, you know, for the infantryman prior of eighteen thirty uh, eighteen fifteen, sorry. So it's not until the eighteen forties, about eighteen forty one, roughly, when Queen Victoria decides. Well, she speaks to one of her senior high command in the British Army, and she actually says, "You know, these these poor people fighting out. Um, you know, yeah. Well, it'll be." The, in 1842, it was the uh, colonisation, the takeover of China, British rule of China in 1842, but around about that time, 1841, um, who do we, wait, do we have a medal for these, these, you know, poor soldiers fighting out wherever they are? And the actual guy, the, the army officer, kind of consultant, basically said, we don't. So, um, pardon me. So, Queen Victoria then suddenly starts coming up with a, what is known as a Military General Service Medal. So, it's known as the 1794 to 18, um, 1794 to 1814, sorry, I'll say it again. It was the 1794 to 1814 Military General Service Medal. It was given out to... All those who are still alive in the 1840s who fought between 1794 and 1814. So basically the Napoleonic Wars just before and, and during. And it would be handed out. Of course, they had to try and go through military you know, records and military barracks to try and find those, those veterans. And a lot of them, of course, weren't alive. A lot of them were, but a lot of them wasn't. It's kind of half and half. So the military... General Service Medal, 1794 to 1814, um, is issued. Um, and that covers, of course, that period. Then you get the uh, 1814 uh, to 1840 Military General Service Medal, not specifically those dates, but around about that era, of course, which were which was a little bit easier because some of the men were s still hanging on, were still alive you know, as veterans from that period. And that's the kind of the second military general service medal. Um, so Queen Victoria really started the proper, the, the trend of the, the general service medals kind of dating back to when soldiers were just about alive and, you know, giving them past medals. Um, so that's that. Oh, sorry. So then, of course, when you get to the Crimean War, that's when it really starts as having, you know, the Crimean War Medal. Then later on, the uh, the Sudanese War Medal. You know, these war medals essentially start during the Crimean War, um, officially. 
So, of course, 1854, uh, wait, sorry, uh, 1856, sorry, uh, the... Uh, June of 1856, the, uh, Victoria, the Victoria Cross was first uh, issued as a gallantry medal. And and then, you know, the rest is history. So then, of course, we get that trend for the 1850s, or really starting with the Military General Service Medal as being the official proper medal as we know today, going right up to, you know, the modern day. Uh, as we've still got a form of General Service Medal today, the, the 2008 General Service Medal. So, um, hopefully I wasn't waffling on and you can actually hear me. Um, oh, am I cold? Well, it's kind of cold, it's sort of a block nose, but yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully all was well. So, see ya, bye.